Greetings and salutations and welcome to Toka Bite Sized, where today we will be playing another classic Genesis game, Alien Storm. I know absolutely nothing about this game. So, let's go! So apparently Alien Storm is a beat-em-up. All right, cool, I can get down with that. Right from the get-go, we can choose between three characters to play. A robot, a Ghostbuster, and the obligatory girl character. I went ahead and chose the robot because between Metal Sonic and the Vex, I think I have kind of a thing for robots. Yikes, this game is pretty gruesome for the time it came out. The first thing you see are these humans turning into Cronenbergs. Here we are, Cronenberg Morty. And hey, the fighting is pretty neat. It feels good to attack, and there's a variety in the types of attacks you can do. Like your normal attacks, missiles, and football attacks go granted most of these attacks happen randomly with the push of one button but it's still pretty cool you can even get a dodge roll meaning that alien storm is the grandfather of dark souls also the top half of my robot guy doesn't move at all when walking around that's hilarious all right finish the first level this is really fun i'm having what the heck a shooting segment what is this well i mean i mean obviously it's a shooting segment but what this came as such a surprise to me and instantly shot this game up from a 7 to a 13. These segments are way too fun for their own good. They appear quite often throughout the game too. What I'm loving about this beat em up compared to others is how much health you get. I very much appreciate it because I suck pretty bad at beat em ups. You also have an energy bar that you can use for your attacks. Once you run out, you have to attack with this pathetic stick. It still wrecks the Cronenbergs though. Get wrecked! You can also use the energy for your super move, which is... What? What? What was that? I can blow myself up killing everyone and then another copy of myself comes to take my place? That's bad ace. This game is so crazy. Is there anything else you can throw at- HOLY CRAP LOOK HOW FAST I'M GOING! Why in the world did Sega make Sonic when you can go faster in Alien Storm? This is the third time this game has left me speechless and I've only been playing for 10 minutes. These segments appear after each boss fight, which, from what I can tell, is always this thing. What is this? I have no freaking clue. And after dying three times, you're down for good and have to restart the game. Which isn't so bad now, because you can try other characters. The Ghostbuster dude is okay, and the girl is actually pretty sweet having a flamethrower, but the robot is still my favorite. I know, sorry guys, but airstrikes and nukes? Come on. Those have nothing on blowing yourself up. Even though this game is super fun, it's also pretty hard. I can't beat it. Even on easy mode, I could only get to the last level, but I could never get to the final boss. So that's where my review comes to an end. Alien Storm is really freaking cool. It's probably one of the best side-scrolling beat-em-ups I have ever played in recent years. The gameplay styles were pretty diverse for the time and I just had a lot of fun with it. Alien Storm gets four red blocks from me. What is your favorite beat-em-up? Please write it in the comment section below. I would love to hear it. And if you liked what you saw here, please consider subscribing to my channel, The Toka Show, and give that bell a ring-a-ding-ding -ding so you are notified for whenever my new videos come out. By the way, every Tuesday and Saturday is when new videos come out. Pretty exciting stuff. All right, that's it for today, guys. Peace.